Hey weirdos, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a great start to your day or end to your day or middle of the day, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope it's going good. So I had so many requests to do an updated recreate whatever of a classic baby boomer manicure with dip powder. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I, I have done this one time. <laughs> I do a lot of ombres and they're all pretty much the same thing, but a baby boomer is a classic pink and white ombre manicure. I did a little research also and why this is called a baby boomer mani because I've had that question so many times and I'm like, I don't know, I'm not Google. <laughs> but I did Google it and I found out some stuff that I figured I would share with you guys whilst I am doing this baby boomer mani. Now I'm gonna be doing this particular ombre design in the traditional tap ombre method, which includes applying a coat of dip base to my entire nail. Mind you, if you have longer nails or you need an apex, do that first and get your structure situated and then you can start the design like I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go cuticle to free edge. Then I'm gonna take this little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to tap on, on the free edge, a white dip powder. Now I'm using, I don't know what I'm using. I'll leave it linked in the box. <laughs> Whatever white dip powder you wanna use though, you can go ahead and use. I wanted to keep this pretty natural looking. The first one I did was very pink and white, which is fine, nothing wrong with that, but I was feeling a little more natural for this one. So once you get the white sprinkled on as you want it, you're gonna cover up the rest of the nail with the pink dip powder. And I went for a sheer. You can do this with a more pigmented powder if you please. What's with me and the peas lately? Okay, so now that I've gotten the um, pink dip powder on, clean up my cuticle area, let that set for a sec, and then I'm gonna dust off excess. I'm gonna do one whole nail at a time, but if you are doing your nails like this, you're gonna wanna go nail by nail by nail on your first coat, and then go back to nail number one to start your second coat. I am using a stiff scrubby brush to get rid of all of the excess, especially when you're using sheer dip powders it can look a little grainy or bubbly if you don't get all the excess off so you definitely want to go in with a stiff scrubby brush to remove all that excess to prevent that and i'm going to go in for coat number two coat number two i'm going to do slightly different same process with the dip base cuticle to free edge this time however i'm going to sprinkle on the pink first near the cuticle area and then i'll do the white at the free edge I feel like doing this little bit in reverse, so going back and forth with the colors, creates a really seamless blend in the center of the nail. But if you feel comfortable doing it a different way, please, by all means, do it a different way. This is just the way that I found works best for me. Now, mind you, I am not a professional. I am not a nail tech. I am a nail nothing. I'm just a DIYer like most of you probably are. This is just my personal experience and what I like for my own nails. So I'm gonna finish up round two. I am going to do a round three. Now, typically I only do two dips of color on my nails for my short little nublets. However, I find that when you're pouring over or sprinkling over powder, the application is much thinner. So I feel more comfortable doing three layers of this. But again, personal preference, if you are happy with two, stick at two. If you feel more comfortable doing four or five or 12, I don't know. You want to do a dip powder mountain, do a dip powder mountain, whatever floats your boat. But I do suggest capping this in clear. You can use gel if you prefer to cap in gel. That's totally fine. Clear dip powder is going to provide, or gel, will provide a layer of protection on top of the nail for when you're filing and buffing because you don't want to risk filing off the color and ruining the integrity of the ombre. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this nail. And whilst I let you watch the other nails, I'm gonna to talk to you about the baby boomer real quick and give you a little bit of a history lesson. Before I get into that, I do want to let you know that this will be the first episode in my ombre series. I have like 45,000 series coming up on my channel. I don't know why I do these things. Um, but if you are curious about how to ombre in different ways, this is your tap ombre that I'm showing you today. I will have a scrub ombre coming up in the future, as well as a gel um, ombre with dip powder. So if you're curious about how to do all different ombres, I got you. I don't know if you can hear my cat. I think she's having an asthma attack. <laughs> Don't throw up on my bed, please. 
Are you good? She's fine. Um, okay, so baby boomer nails. I did learn that the baby boomer nail actually evolved from a classic pink and white French back in the 1940s. It became a very popular look for that period of time. And it became a baby boomer because that's what the generation that grew up, I guess, in the 30s and 40s were referred to as they were the baby boomers. So that's why this is called a baby boomer nail. <laughs> that, that's really it. There, there's nothing else to it. That's just why it is what it is. Um, I don't know anything else about it. I don't know if that's true, although that was a good majority of the information that I found about it. So we're going to go with that. That's why it's a baby boomer nail. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Or I'm sorry if I'm horribly wrong. And if you know otherwise, please feel free to correct me. I, I don't care if I'm wrong. I'd rather, I'd rather know the truth than be right. So I really don't care. Tell me if, if you have a different opinion or if you know other facts that maybe I don't know. If you're wondering about what's on my right hand, I don't know if you've done, noticed or not, but it is actually nail polish. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I cheated on zip powder <laughs> with nail polish. That's a color from Hello Taco. Um, I'll leave it down in the description box in case you're curious. I, I didn't have time to do a full manicure on my right hand, like with dip or whatever, uh, but I wanted something over my nails just for a little bit of protection. And I'm like, what can I put over my nails that is easy to remove and quick to remove? Because, you know, dip and gel can be kind of a pain to take off sometimes. And I'm like, I'm just going to polish. And I have so many of the Hollow Taco polishes. If you want me to swatch them out for you, or if you want me to demo them, let me know down below. I'd be happy to do that. I typically don't, I don't use them often because I, I'm a dip slash gel junkie, but I love them so much. And I love Christine. She's the owner of Hollow Taco. She's from Simply Nail Logical on YouTube. I fell in love with her channel. I think my daughter, my little one, um, introduced me to her YouTube channel years ago, and I just kind of became obsessed. I love her with my whole entire heart. So I, I support her channel. I support her business. So I have a whole lot of Hollow Tacos. So let me know if that's something that you would like to see. So I'm going to go ahead anyway and finish up this second nail with the baby boomer look. I don't know if y'all heard that. That was so loud in my ears. <laughs> my stomach just growled something fierce. Like there, there, there's something evil happening inside of me. <laughs> I'm starving. I just ordered DoorDash because <laughs> I'm working and I, I can't go anywhere. I could. I just I'm not because I, I'm not. It's too peopley outside. So I ordered DoorDash. I ordered Taco Bell and I'm hoping it's here soon because I'm literally starving. <laughs> Are you guys Taco Bell people? I don't know. Is that a me thing? I, I love a good street taco and I have a bunch of really good places around here, but once in a blue moon, okay, more, more than once in a blue, maybe like four or five times in a blue moon. I'm like, I just want Taco Bell so bad. <laughs> so I ordered Taco Bell. Let me know if you're a fast food junkie too and what your go-to like fast food is. All right. Um, I want to let you guys watch me finish up this nail. I'm going to come back with the nails done. So I went ahead, finished up the baby boomer look on all of the nails. All I have to do is cap in clear and activate and top coat. And that's the whole thing. I did have my Taco Bell, by the way, <laughs> in case you were curious what I was doing while y'all were watching. Um, nacho fries are back, or at least they are as I'm doing this voiceover. Um, I'm speaking from the past, <laughs> I guess. Um, it's end of March and the nacho fries are back and I could not wait to get them in my mouth. I love them so much. The guilty pleasures, the little things in life. I just love them. So I am going to um, do a full dip of the clear dip powder on all of the nails. Again, this is just a protective layer to make sure when you file and buff, you're not filing off your color. You still want to exercise a little bit of caution when you're doing your filing and buffing because it is super easy to file right through your clear. So if you feel like you have 
a ton of filing you need to do, perhaps two dips in clear, make sure you're removing excess with a stiff scrubby brush. That way you don't have like that bubbly, grainy, speckled appearance at the end. And then after this is done, I'm gonna activate file and buff off camera, but I will leave my whole filing and buffing routine down in the box in case you wanna check that out. And then I'm gonna top coat and I'll come back with a finished look. So here's the finished look. I went ahead and did a gel top coat. You can totally use regular polished top coat, dip powder top coat, whatever top coat floats your little boat, go ahead and use that. I'm gonna finish up with some cuticle oil per usual. Um, speaking of cuticle oil, the Hot Mess Marla that you all know and love from Candy's Skincare proceeds are now being donated to Safe Space. So I will leave all the info for that down in the box in case you wanna grab some or stock up or help out an amazing organization. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you liked the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.